This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. First of all, just me log into your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here and now here just me search for the Vertex AI. Open this thing new tab, just me come back over here, wait for a second now. Now just me click on this workbench. And then just me click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, in the description box of this video, I will show you on GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now, first of all, what do you do? We have to download one file for the task number one. So just me open this link in new tab like this way. Come back over here. Click on this download button over here and this file download to your local system. Once done with this thing, just me come back. Now just me click on this upload button and from here just me upload the file which you just downloaded. Just me click on this open. Wait for a second now. Now here you can see prompt file just me double click over here. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time so for running a shell or we can see command you can just me click on this play button over here or you can just me shift and enter. Now if it asking for the kernel so just me choose python 3 and then just me click on this select. Now just me make sure that your kernel must be ideal. If it connecting or busy that time you have to just me wait. So first of all what we are going to do we are going to run this command and this command. Okay once we run this command over here it will restart our kernel. So let me just me show you that. So just me check your kernel status as you can see it's ideal so just me hit shift and enter now as you can see it's executing the command from here you can just me check and it's done now what we do we have to restart our kernel for that we have to just me run this command so just me run that wait for a second you will get this kind of pop up click on this ok and just me wait until your kernel show as a ideal so it's ideal now. Now you have to run each and every shell till end like this way. Okay. Now what you can do, you can just make come back over here, scroll down a little bit on the GitHub repo like this way. And from here you can see this URL. So just may open this thing in incognito window. This will activate your cloud shell. Meanwhile, just may come back over here and from here you can see this region. So just may copy this command, come back, wait for a second. Now just paste the command. Now for the region. Come back over here and from here you can see this region copy that paste over here like this way now again come back over here from here just me copy this command for your task number one so just me copy this and paste hit enter now you have to just me wait for this command get execute at last you will get one url on that url you have to perform some tasks don't worry i'm going to explain that also so just me wait for a couple of seconds And it's finally done. Now here you can see this URL. So just me click over here. Now from here just me choose any option over here like this way. Now just me scroll down and then just me click on this generate my recipe over here like this way. Now just me wait. And it's done. If you do not follow this step, you won't get a full score. Okay. Now again, just me come back to our dashboard and now just me press Ctrl C over here. Like this way. Just me press two times and it's terminated. Now again, come back over here. From here, just me copy this task 2 command. So just me copy this. Come back. Paste. Hit enter. Now this command is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes. And once this command executed, you have to do the same thing again. Okay. So now just me wait for this command get executed. And after that, we will check the score for the lab.
and it's finally done now just me click on the service url over here like this way and here also you have to do the same thing just simply wait okay now just me click over here from here just me choose any option and from here also like this way scroll down again click on the generate my recipe and it's finally done now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and youtube community guidelines